Welcome back everyone. Okay, so let's get the rest of this lighting done and get the fiber optics in. It's not going to work. It's got to go in the top. Because I'm going to be connecting this to the top here. Which means the LED is going to go. Maybe I'll put it over the side here. And the fiber optic there and on the top here will go to the LED on the side here. Now all these, uh, the flashers are going to be on a circuit uh, that I'm going to make. Uh, it'll be inside the model, so I don't have to worry about trying to find a space for it in the stand. <clears throat> then we got two more flashers back here, so I'm going to put the LED right here. Okay, so actually just those two, and that's all I really need. Because I'll take care of those two and those two. The ones on the sides here, they don't flash. They're just on. <coughs> I went back and I <coughs> watched the scenes of the Defiant. Um, as it does this flyby. And I was assuming like this side would be the green and that would be red. But it turns out they're both red. So it doesn't exactly follow the same lighting effect as a normal starship, but the Defiant isn't a normal starship. Okay, so that takes care of the flashers. Okay, so let's get this in there. And I melted the tip of that. I'm going to clean it up a little bit after the after I get this installed but it's not going to pull through now so
just like that. There you go. Lights up. Ooh. Ah. Uh, ooh. Ah. Uh, not bad. Not bad at all. I have a 47 ohm resistor on that right now. Uh, since I'm using a one amp power supply, I might need to put on a larger resistor because that would that would fry. Um, I'm gonna have it hooked up in one of these lines here, uh, but even though these have got resistors already built into them, it's it's not nearly enough. So I'll try a higher resistor when I go to practice with the 12 volt power supply and i'm gonna these ones here will be on a fairly decent power supply because they're going to be coming off of a circuit board that i'm going to make uh, so i don't really need to worry about those ones and i used a canopy glue here for the windows it will dry clear so let's get this little thing doohickey whatchamacallit and put it in there in the cracks Get that set a little bit of painting there I'll take care of that okay we have a uh, pulse phasers here let's go here and I got the uh, uh, 0.50 uh, fiber optic here that's going to go in for this line but i have to drill a hole in the body here for the fiber optic to go into okay so it'll come down i just need to point. have a little mark here where the end of the the pulse phaser is i don't want to go drilling beyond that point I'm going to drill it on a pretty steep angle. doing that on a steep angle is because the um, these 0.50 fiber optics are if you try to bend them too much they're gonna break so I need to figure out let's make it about Here, I need to get this. Like this. I'm going to put it all the way in where I want it to go. Um, just on the inside. I don't want it flush with the body. This goes in here, right down there. There you go. So eventually, I'm gonna fill all this in with that window maker. It'll hold it in place, and it won't eat through the plastic. So don't ever use even normal glue. Don't use on that, especially the thinner fiber optics. You're just asking for trouble. Now the pulse phasers on here on the front on the tops are a little easier to put in. So, so let's get those installed. Thank you. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to run fiber optic line from here to this light here. I have it poking up just a little bit. Okay, looking pretty good there. Now I got to get these two uh, lighting sources tied in together. So I got the wire here, let's go to put it on. back end of this thing here there where uh, fiber optics are going to be in as well that will go on the back here and I think it's going to go on the bottom part of the hole. So I'm going to put an LED here. Right now I'm going to run the lines from here to this light here. I'm making each line a little longer than I need because you never know.
and there we go got the two lines run there looks good all right so i redid this one here i got two lines here because i gotta have another line that's going to the bottom here so i'm going to put that through there glue these halves together good got that one working that one's working too looks really nice okay so i'm just gonna let all that set and then do some more work after it's ready okay so these have had time to set let's get those installed Okay, so let's get these uh, warp grills in the back. Okay, so I thought I was going to use LEDs uh, for here, but I'm going to use those light strips. Since I've already got a colored blue, it's going to come out through blue. So I'm going to have like a small strip here, one on this side, and the same with the, the front uh, grills. I'm going to have one here, one there. <coughs> I still need to figure out a spot here for the uh, LED that's going to be using, firing the uh, pulse phasers. I have a three mil red LED here. I'm going to put red about here. There we go. Looking not too bad. Okay, I got them all in there. Let's do a quick light test. Looks good. Perfect. Just the right brightness. 
Okay, now I'm gonna get small strips of these to light up the engines here. Okay, so I'm gonna get a framework to hold that. There we go, just like that. I'm going to tie these in with all these lines and to there. Okay, so I got all those in tied together there now. Let's do a quick light test to make sure these things are actually going to light up. Alright, I have the red 470 ohm, uh, four, <laughs> the red LEDs, the 470 ohm resistor, connected up. Let's do a light test. Red impulse engines there, looking good. Okay, now there's a point here and here that I got to uh, run LED lighting to. So I'm going to have uh, fiber optic coming over to an LED right around here. Melted the heads down there, so they're flush with that. There we go, just like that. And when the heat shrink cools down, that ain't moving. Okay, so I got the light in there. Got a 360 ohm resistor on that one. 360 on the one in the back here. Do a quick light test. Got the two points there lit up. And on the front up there, looks good. Now, on the ship here, there are two points on either side where they are lit up red. So, I'm just going to drill just a little bit below the line here for um, the, I think, 0.30 mil fiber optic lines. That'll go over probably to an LED over here, or maybe right here. Try and keep it close. At least it's out of the way when it's right there. OK, 
Okay, so I got the uh, three mil red LED on there, 470 ohm resistor. Uh, just got to drill the holes here and here and run the uh, fiber optic. in there another quick light test yeah perfect on the top part of the hull here for the flashers I have a 47 ohm resistor on this one and on this one on 180 ohm resistor on this one here that lights up the registry Okay, so I have a main power line going, goes down to the stand. Let's do a quick light test to make sure it's actually going to turn on. And voila. Nice, nice. Got the engines a lit up, impulse. Looks good. Okay, so I got the top connected now with the bottom. Another light test. Look at that. All the windows lit up beautifully. Damn. Just need to hook up the uh, deflector lighting and do another light test. Okay, it's all lit up there, the little windows. There we go. Deflector's all lit up there now. It's on, but it's not like super bright which is what I like. Very good. Well, that is it for this episode. In the next one, we are going to finish the assembly and work on the stand. Please like, subscribe, comment, don't forget to share, and click that notification bell for any future uploads. See you all again later. Bye-bye.